can't wait! Bitch, you can wait. Sorry, and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sorry's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook from a dimension that I don't recognize. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook, handily crafted with neat leather backing. And I can, uh, I can already see Monica pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags, and I do the same as myself. I should start with Monica. Yesterday she seemed eager to read my poem, and I want her to know I'm. You're put a good man, Charlie Brown. I want her to know my true feelings. Hi, Hiroshima. Having a good time so far? No. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or any things you can do better, I'm always listening. I'm pretty empty inside. Don't be afraid to bring these things up, okay? You're probably not gonna hear shit from me. Uh, whatever, you know, I'll think about it. Uh, of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm a neat and much better off just going about the flow and, you know, not giving shit. Anyway, wanna share your poem with me? Well, I did click the button, so I, I think so. <laughs> 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 Don't worry, Hiroshima. <laughs> We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? Are you okay? Well, you did burp in front of me like that and sound like a man, so yeah, I can understand. But it's that sort of barrier that blah blah blah, whatever. Yeah, true. <laughs> I hand Monica a poem. Hmm. I like it! Are you sure about that? Because it does say headphone, you know, internal empathy suicide. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. What? Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? Oh, don't cuck me. I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sort of things in common. Um, are you trying to say that I'm suicidal too? I mean, we may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different entirely. We have different mental illnesses. Hmm. Well, that may be the case. But maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. Probably not. The way she talks about you, it sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you'd think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Look, you don't understand. Hmm. Her father and mother make sure that I take care of her, because if she steps outside and, and doesn't read the stop sign, she might die. I'm sure you're not reading too much into it. <laughs> I could be. Well, I'm glad we're on the same page. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, so Yuri's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she's like exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, I know. It's like people have depth or, you know, depth or something. Well, to each their own. I guess you don't have any. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm not. I'm really not at all. I'm pretty excited to be able to explore my complex desires and display them out to you all as if it's like trying to describe how I truly feel. That's okay! I'd love to see you try new things. Oh, well, I'm glad. Like me. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Are you gay? Everyone else might be a little bit biased toward their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find ways to... Fuck. What suits you the most? So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Pay attention to that. It's important. The game's teaching you. You know, you have to Listen under to best girl. You really do have to understand. Best girl is God. I hate writing Shakespearean sonnets. <laughs> I don't like Shakespearean sonics. I like to do epics and I like to do freeform. And if you don't like that, you can fuck off. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? No. Don't worry, I'm not very good. How? You're the you're the fucking leader of this cult. You sound confident. Well, that's because I had to sound confident. You have a Tumblr with about 10,000 followers. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Oh well, let's, let's read it. A hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. See? The direction the sparkle protrudes. Spackle. Oh, spackle. Protrudes. Spackle, spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor. An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. They peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas, already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep, stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices, 
I realize now that I wasn't looking in, I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. <laughs> Gay? I like that freeform. Good job. So what do you think? Honestly, it was beautiful and I'm very touched and... Uh, oh wow, it's um, freeform. I'm glad I recognize that. I'm not really the person to ask for feedback, even though I do write poetry. <laughs> it's okay. I know a lot about poems. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. I don't know, you should probably do something like fables or, you know... There's a lot of poems that have been, have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. Mm, yeah. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? What was the inflection behind it? Uh... Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influenced by poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about how... about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes, when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific, specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. No, I don't know about that. I spend quite a bit of time on my poetry. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big, dark puddle of ink. Maybe sometimes it explains what I am. <sighs> so just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for the day. Thanks for listening. Tune in next week. I gotta piss. I can't handle this. I already gave my phone to best girl. Alright, fuck it. We're gonna end the episode. No, we're not ending the episode. Alright, we're not ending the episode. Just, I lied. Just fuck you. Just Bert, get over it. It's gonna be like a, a fucking giant ass video. The fans haven't seen this in months. They'll, they'll be... All, all three of them will be delighted. We'll just do a giant... Giant fucking chunk. Maybe you're breaking into two. Who knows? So how y'all doing? You doing good? Welcome to Booze Time with Toku. Tonight, I'm drinking a Bella Bolle Moscato and Strawberry Italian style, product of Italy. I lost my shoes. I bought it at Walmart. Honestly, it's pretty low quality, but it it did a good job. I'm feeling tipsy. Uh, I, the Shinzo's dying. I'm, what the fuck? What the fuck? Little bitch won't fucking play Knuckle Par anymore. It's really pissing me off. Fucking nerd. <laughs> Update on the content of the channel. Yada 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 for no particular reason because I'm bored and I want to ramble. I'm working a lot. I'm very busy. It's hard to find time to let's play with Shinzo. Because their schedules don't really line up too well. So, this is going to be kind of rare and in between. I want to do more solo stuff, maybe, if I can find the time. But I'm really tired after work. I get home at 3 in the morning. I'm just dead. But, I will be starting a long let's play. Maybe the next few days. Maybe a month from now. Who knows? Whenever Bert decides to upload it. Behind him on that crazy bastard. Backwoods, whatever you call him. Good man. A good cuddly man. Never forget that. These black fingernails, though, they worry me. They worry me a lot. No pizza delivery boy should have black fingernails. I saw the same spider. Oh, hey, what's up, buddy? I saw the same spider and it, re it yelled racial slurs at me and shit. Did I he need... buy him a taco? No, I need back into my throne. Alright, you keep reading and you be a good boy and you take care of stuff. Hi, I'm gonna grab a, I'm gonna grab a beer. welcome back to Neko, Continue the story. Nekopara Part 8. It's great to see you guys. You I'm, keep playing it. You make your decisions. I'm you sorry, can, I meant literature Doki boy. Doki poem Part 7. Because I know Bert's going to break this up because he's Jewish. Oh. Uh, hmm? Well, it's about, you know, what I expected from someone like you. Uh, that's kind of fucked up. What does that mean? Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad or nothing. It's, it just didn't invoke any emotions. Dude, what the fuck? It, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? Do you want to get smacked? I mean, you're the one insulting me, so it's kind of, you know, a little weird. <sighs> Anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. 
not, you know, that you like it or anything. Oh god, this is gonna be... Why do you have a sword? That's my goblin blade. You need to put that down. Don't use the blade like that. It's it's a very important blade. This poem is adorable. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. And horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. Woo! I feel inspired. You know, after talking shit about my poem, it's a little fucked. Yeah. yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I mean, I actually like it. It's pretty mean. What? You know, just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced this is still that, you. you know, that I wouldn't like it? I mean, why are you... Oh, oh god damn No, I am you. I'm your conscience. Why would you convince wouldn't like... Well... Because... Everyone in high school thinks that riding has to be all sophisticated <laughs> shit. I could have that good book learned and shit. So people don't even take my riding seriously. Because, you know, I talk about cheetahs and monkeys. But, you know, isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves and, you know, be all cute and shit? And your riding style wouldn't, you know, make your message any less valid or whatever. So, yeah, exactly. Actually, she is pretty adorable. I like when it's easy to read. Like, you know, in this poem. It hits you like a fucking truck. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Uh, yeah, I get it. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. So basically, you use simplicity instead of having any form of depth and complexity. You know, like, I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then I made it fall flat on purpose, because I'm kind of a troll. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line, you know? Uh, so you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it, that's what it means to be a pro. This smug bitch! I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Are you 12? I decided to human her with that last comment. <laughs> I don't really care what gender everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. <laughs> Who should I show my poem to next? I'm gonna leave my best friend last, because I'm a dick. Don't show me that face. <laughs> Yuri stares at the poem minute passes. More than enough time for her to finish reading. Then an hour passes. Fucking roast me. Um. Oh. Sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um. Wow. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. Jesus Christ. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it for. Oh, so it's it's bad. No. Did I just raise my voice? Yes. Uh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several hours, and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, you know. I don't really care. What were you saying? Right. Um. It's just there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. The end result is both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, is it if her demeanor totally changes? Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, this is something you can be blamed for. There are so many different styles and techniques that go into writing even a single poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. I mean, I did just pick a bunch of fucking words. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning my example and trying new things. I wish you guys would let me actually write something rather than just let me pick a bunch of words from the list. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. I fucking hate them all. 
That's gonna give it a little bit of bias, though. I... she's a woman. Male. Biased? How? Uh, um... well... never mind. Why does everyone know that she likes I shouldn't me? be talking about people like that. Sorry. Eh, whatever. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or Natsuki. You mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I love to share my thoughts process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if the, that's a rare opportunity for her, which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under... The light? Okay, I'm just making sure. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one, the last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calms breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers, I flicker back. Well, hot damn. That was free form and good. That's probably the best one I've read yet. And again, I think I can read cursive. Monica's was actually pretty good. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have such terrible handwriting. Uh, what the fuck are you talking about? I wasn't thinking that at all. No, you don't understand. It took me so long to read because I can't read cursive. Um, well, I just don't read cursive very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short and decrepit. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. I don't really care. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. <laughs> something easy to digest, I suppose. Well, considering I'm a very broken person, it doesn't really matter, but, you know, are you in a ghost? Hoo-hoo! Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Hiroshima. I don't want you to hoo-hoo at me again. But, uh, really? I must have totally missed that point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it, after all. Um, you don't know if I really But remember that poems often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experience in their works. Are you a fucking ghost? They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem was only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, and unable, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. You're kind of projecting on me, and I don't really like it, but when you're putting it that way... I hadn't even thought about that, except I did. And that's impressive. It's nothing, really. No, it's not. <coughs> well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know, I like how we keep reading into male releases for each character when I made a joke at the very beginning of this Let's Play that they're all traps. I'm gonna try. I'm counting on you. Maybe. <coughs> Well, I'm glad we're me mediocrely getting through this Let's Play and kind of reading the lines. Who gives a fuck, really? Oh my goodness! I'm... I'm... This is so good, Hiroshima! I re regret this. Like damn, nigga! Um... I love it! Are you only saying that because you're biased? I had no idea you were such a good writer! You don't know that. I think you're just biased. Uh, you, you're overreacting. I'm... I'm shit. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just picking random words that someone left me in a notebook and putting them together. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> You're dead inside. Yuri's opinion was way more constructive than this. Are you sure you don't like this? Don't like it just because I... What? Eh? But she it said It makes she... sense. Are you sure you just don't like it because... Are you sure you... It said it don't like it, but she liked it. No, are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Oh, okay. It meant is, you know... It was proper grammar. Sorry, it's I'm... It's just slightly weird. I'm retarded. I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a Hiroshima poem. And that makes it <laughs> feel extra special. It's not just a poem, it's the bomb. <laughs> like I can feel your feelings in it. Yeah. It has the feeling of three cities being collapsed. And then she hugged my paper. You're so weird. <laughs> I'm really happy just that you wrote one. This reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. 
you know, I'm not really in yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See, it's like I said before, Hiroshima, deep down you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people, that's something that only really good people did. I might break my promise later. I'm not sure Sorry, sees the full picture of my motive here. <laughs> I try really hard to tell her, but she doesn't get it. I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah! It's a sense of pity. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That'll be my way of thanking you. I'm so sorry. Yeah! Now you're reading my poem too, right? Oh, Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. How awful is this? We'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Psychologically reading to this, Nick. I'm kissing my forehead to help me out of bed. Making me... Make... Rub. Making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. <laughs> Are you asking me to come out and play? Or are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. And if it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad, I want breakfast. Um, sorry. This is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No. Just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. <laughs> That's cute, nigga. Right now, I do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit better. Don't be mean. I still try my best. Nah, I kind of sucked. I didn't mean to say that. It came out that way. But, you know, that is like you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Especially that last line. That man, that last line. I made eggs and toast. That last line was bomb. That you bombed that shit, man. You fucked that up. What the? What the hell? Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I'm not gonna argue. She's a pretty good childhood friend, though. But thank you for showing me. This explains everything. Yeah. This was so much fun. Monica's the best. Yes, she is. She's waifu, but next time I won't forget. I'm gonna write the best poem ever. I don't believe you. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. I didn't know I had to read so much shit and then judge my own meager, mediocre abilities of being able to write because I don't have the ability to write in this. And even if they were just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. I don't know, I could stand up to a few. I mean, this is Literature Club, and I sigh, and I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into across the room, sorry. Did it ever actually show, you, show them your poem? No, it didn't actually show it, which is weird. I actually wanted to see what my poem looked like all the way, but it just showed them reading it. I love the music for this game. I actually wanted to see what I wrote down. My eyes land on Yuri Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. And she looks pissed off. Suki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles <laughs> sadly. What's with this... What's with this language? Eh? Did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> Suki dismissively returns to her original. It's now in my head canon that whenever she talks to herself or talks really quietly, it's just really mellow as shit. When she talks normally, it's just a black guy voice. Suki dismissively returns to her normal voice to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Shut the fuck up. Do you completely miss the symbolism and shit? It's clearly about the the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? Yeah, I know that. No, you don't. I just don't. meant the language, I guess. I don't give a shit. I was trying to say something nice. I'm gonna beat the shit. I'm gonna beat the shit. Honestly, it was hard to bring anything nice yeah, out of this poem. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you, you piece of shit. Look at you. Garbage. You sus, nigga. I mean, you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say. You know, you're, you're a real piece of work. I can't. This is why you can't compete with Monica in this. Um. 
Well, I do have a couple suggestions. Like what? I mean, if I was looking for just suggestions, I would ask someone that was really good at this. Like, dumbass, you don't ask people that like your poems. You I, ask people that hate your poems. I would ask for suggestions. Or people with neutral opinions. From really. Sayori. Sayori would really know about how poems would be written, right? See, look, Sayori liked it, and Hiroshima did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. Bitch, please. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. Whoa, nigga. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Whoa, nigga. Which I haven't yet. Jesus. And Hiroshima liked my poem, too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Uh, oh. I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Well, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Wait a minute. I'm not ready to get there yet. That's not what I... Uh, you, you just... Yuri stands up. <laughs> Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Hiroshima appreciated my advice more than he appreciated yours. Damn! Whoa, nigga. What the fuck are you trying to get at? Are you, you know, that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Whoa! Jesus Christ, she's savage as fuck, dude! Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Hiroshima started showing up. Now you fucked up! Now you fucked up! Now you fucked up! You have fucked up now! Whoa, nigga! Natsuki! What? Hold on. Um, Natsuki, that's a little... I don't like being the center of attention, guys. This doesn't involve you. Bitch! I don't like fighting you guys! Suddenly, both girls turned to me and they just noticed I was standing there. Hiroshima. She, she's just trying to make me look bad. I don't really care. Uh, that's not true. Uh, I don't give a shit. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this would have happened in the first place. Uh, what's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason? Uh, but what if there's a reason? Meaning should jump out of the reader, not force them to figure it out. What the fuck are you talking about? Help me explain that to her, Hiroshima. Wait, there's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Hiroshima? Oh, Jesus Christ. Well? Um, how did I get dragged in this in the first place? Why'd I have to be loved by everybody? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whoever I agree with will probably think more highly of me and probably open up a dialogue choice where I pick one of them. Ah, shit. Choose. Choose wisely. <laughs> it, it just says her name. You're right that I like your poem. Wait, that's not an excuse for you to be so mean. Um, oh, you stopped caring. I understand. Oh yeah, I literally did stop caring, Yuri. Eh, I mean, you're seriously talented. It's not a secret that I'm very impressed. <laughs> well, that's... But, you know, here's the thing. Uh, no matter how simple or refined someone's writing is, they're still putting the feeling into it and it becomes something really personal. I, I clicked her, right? Yeah. I just don't know why I'm harping on her. You clicked Natsuki, actually. What? You? I just asked you if I clicked... No, I don't know what you clicked. I think you, I'm pretty sure it was Natsuki. Oh, no. Yeah, it doesn't tell you. I think it's just the one you start with is the one you picked, so you pick Natsuki, so we'll start with Natsuki. I see. I didn't notice that I... I I'm I, sorry. I really thought I picked Yuri, but... Uh, you took it way too far, man. Yuri means well. And, you just, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened at all. 
Are you kidding me? That's exactly what I did. And it was her that... Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that you didn't mean. You already apologized. Do you think you should too? Mm. Natsuki clenches her fists. And in the end, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped. At this point, being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up feeling bad for her. No, I don't. Um, sometimes when I'm hurt... I don't give a it shit. It helps you take a walk and no, clear my head. No, fuck off. Sorry, she doesn't need to. No, that was me. You know what? You know what? I'm going to do that. It'll spare me from having to look at all you in the face. Alright, bye. Without warning, Natsuki snatches her own poem up from the desk and storms out. And on her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hand and then throws in the trash. Natsuki... Later, that poem would be used to make Dollar in the Woods by Keemstar. She really didn't need to do that. I will cross the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in an adjacent chair. Sigh. Everything all right? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. I wouldn't say it's hate. Just, you know when you have your focus on another girl so you can't get that you did girl click, a lot of attention? I'm, I'm pretty sure I did. You handled it very well. Better than anyone else could. And I don't think any less of you at all. You're cuter than Natsuki. Well, all right, I believe you. Well, you should, bitch. Thanks, Hiroshima. You're too kind. Yeah, I know. I'm thankful to have you as part of this club now. Thank you, and I hope we remove Natsuki from this club. One more thing. We need her for cultural diversity. About, you know, I would never do anything so shameful. I don't know the fuck. Like, pad my tits. What the fuck are you talking about? Wait a minute. Do you really pad your tits? Well, never mind that. I'm gonna make some tea. They claim she did. Oh. And she's saying she didn't. Make enough for that. Make enough for more than one person, okay? I don't like feeling special. Yeah. You know, everything's really obvious right okay, now. It's only been a day. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I did say it was worth it. Natsuki Ghost shows up. It was all right, mostly, I guess. Whatever. Ooh. Hiroshima, how about you? Yeah, I hated it. And, you know, whatever. It was cool to talk to everybody. Awesome! Uh, everyone has a crush on me. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. It makes me feel com uncomfortable. Maybe you learned something from your friends, too. No, I, yeah, I kind of. So your poems will turn out even better. Well, everyone has a crush on me, and I just want to be friends with everybody. And then I think to myself... I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to- Oh. Oh. I nod at myself with newfound determination. Hiroshima! And then that determination goes Ready away. to walk home? Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright. Hee hee hee. God damn it. Sorry beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sorry and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sorry. One no, second, one second. Okay, good. Yeah, of course. Uh, about what happened earlier. Hey, what do you mean? <laughs> Quit smoking, faggot. <laughs> you, yeah. you know, between... Hey, give that back. Between Yuri and Natsuki, uh, does that kind of thing happen often? No, 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 no. <coughs> it's really the first time I've ever seen them fight like that. Why did you cry when you said that? I promise they're both wonderful people. You're in tears. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. What the fuck? I just wanted your opinion. That's it. Jesus Christ. I can see they make good friends with you. You. You know, Hiroshima, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. Whoa, I'm good. I think everyone really likes you too. I'm glad to hear that because your mom, you know, warned me about your post-traumatic bipolar disorder and I have to keep you happy. Because, <laughs> because your suicide tendencies. Every day is going to be so much fun. If you've been taking your medication today, it looks like Sori still hasn't caught on to the situation. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but I really have to make sure that nobody kills themselves. Well, just... 
we'll just have to see what the future holds, you know? I pat Sorry on the shoulder. And I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sorry as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Kawaii. Hmm. Why doesn't it have Monica on here? Is there a reason for that? Shh, you'll figure it out later. Okay, whatever. Um, disoriented. Excitement. Special. What the fuck? I don't want to be Sayori. What if Sayori is like great? After image. Romance. God damn it. Skipping. Look, he's a little cinnamon bun. Leave her alone. Vitality. Seuss. Oh, uh, hurt. What the fuck? Um, heaven sent. Death. Why? I don't understand how this works at all. Unrestrained. Oh, I got it. Unrestrained boof. <laughs> Look, just realize that the middle chick loves the weird shit. Breathe. Breathe. Explode. Milk. Ambient. Kitty! Color. Another day passes, it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Hiroshima! And all that fades. Oh, hey, what's up? Uh, looks like you're in a good mood. <laughs> I'm just uh, used to being in the club, that's all. Mm, and whatever, no, I don't give a shit. Uh, that's a pretty simple um, thing, you know, get good mood. Uh, but I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Speaking of which, mm -hmm. I'm kind of hungry. Yeah, I know, you're really simple. Will you come with me to buy a snack? You know, if I had to care, uh, consider you for anything, a metaphor for you would probably be Natsuki's poem. Eh? That's not like you at all. It's completely like me. Uh, why don't you get the hint? <laughs> why that all of a sudden? I've been like this the entire game. I just wanted you to understand that. Uh, uh. Uh, Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Everyone wrote a love poem about me, didn't they? And then she turns it upside down and lets it, its contents spill onto the desk. And only two small coins fall out. And you're poor as shit. <laughs> Why are you a broke bitch? I can see right through you, sorry. That's not fair. How do you even know? You're as transparent as air. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room, you fat ass. So either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. But, you know, here's the thing. Um, you're always hungry. And I have more important shit to buy. And, you know, uh, that only leaves one option. I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. I'll make you feel however the fuck I want, you bitch. I'm being really, <laughs> I'm being really rough with Sorry. I need to calm down. I mean, I love that Yuri likes it because she's second best girl, but still. Why do they measure best girls by tit size? What does that have to do with... With best girl being best girl, like, it doesn't have nothing to do with tip size. It just has to do with the fact that she's the only character. The rest of these, they're not even real, Nick. It's all a myth. Oh, I want to see something. I'm low on battery. Maybe, maybe if I fuck it up, maybe it will work. Maybe I should have charged this. God damn it. Monica's the only girl, Nick. You, don't you have your battery pack? I don't know. Fucking. Can you see? No, I don't even know where my vape is. 
Uh, I didn't notice that she was listening in. And her face is in her book as always. Can you at least go and charge? Uh, uh, charge it on your PS4. Nah, I'll charge it later. No, you can do it now. All right, fine. Keep reading your shit. It takes a long time to charge, dude. I don't fucking care. I mean, I kind of do, but I wasn't listening. Yuri, tell Hiroshima to let me borrow some money. Besides, uh, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford, and frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. God damn, holy shit. Ah, uh, did I just... I didn't mean to be savage. I got too absorbed into my book. Uh, Ugu? <laughs> uh, I really... I really... I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. Uh, that doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. Uh, that's, um, there's no way you could think that. You were right, though. Uh, I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Um, retribu- uh, retribution? Damn. Still coming from you, Sarah. I guess there's a little devil inside of you, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, don't let her fool you. Uh, Sorry knows exactly what she's doing. She's kind of a cunt. Uh, after all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. Uh, but... You know, is Shay being thrown? Yeah, quite a bit, actually. What, really? Yeah. Uh, basically, she was like, um, you know, don't spend your fucking money. You should, uh, conserve it a bit. And then she's like, uh, but cupcakes. But you were coming with cupcakes. I tricked Natsuki into making them. Come on, give... Give me more credit than that. <laughs> wow. I smacked shit out of her. Yeah. Out of nowhere, something smacks her in the face and tumbles on the desk, and it was my hand. Oh. What was? Eh? A cookie. What the fuck? Uh, sure enough, it's a giant cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Galen, is over. <laughs> Is this a miracle? It's from God. It's because I paid my restitution. No, it's retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. Oh, just a little bit. <laughs> uh, I was just gonna give it to you. Uh, but then I heard you uh, blab about the cupcakes. And it was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. <laughs> you, you know? Natsuki! That's so nice of you, now I won't starve to death! Sorry, hugs the cookie. She's a cinnamon bun. Jeez, just fucking eat it. Sorry. Rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. <laughs> Nom, 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 nom. Tasty. So good. Blah. And then she dies. Vomits on the desk. Sorry, suddenly clasps her hands over her mouth and chokes. I bit my tongue. Stupid bitch. <laughs> You're going through a lot of for just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. So there's more than one cookie? Ah, yours look really good too, Natsuki. Why do you have more than one cookie? Can I try it? No, you already have a cookie. Beggars. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Then what the fuck do you have, vanilla? <laughs> Fun. Uh, still, I'm really happy you shared this one with me. <laughs> Fat ass. Sorry gets out of her seat and goes behind Itsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Oh, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie's still in a hand. Itsuki reaches up and, and nudge Sorry off of her. Um. Sorry suddenly... Ooh. Leans down and then takes a bite of Natsuki's cookie. What fuck? Oh, hey. Did you seriously just do that? <laughs> <laughs> Mouthful, sorry, trots away to safety. You're in our laugh as well. Uh, jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell sorry? Uh? Natsuki glances over, and Monica is in the club room. Oh, shit. Where's best girl? I don't like when best girl's not here. Ugh. Where's Monica anyway? Good question. Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? No, I haven't. What's... Not me. Where is she? Uh, I haven't heard. Hmm. Where's best girl? That's a bit unusual. Yeah, it is. I hope she's okay. I hope so, too. Of course she's okay. She probably just has something to do today. That better be the case. Uh, she's pretty popular, you know? Eh? 
You don't think she... She has a... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. What are you talking about? She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. Are you hinting at something? <laughs> That's true. No, I don't think so. Excuse me. Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, ah, there you are. No, that's me. Ah, there you are. Ah, there you are. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I didn't. You know, I hope... Hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Yeah. Eh? Eh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. Yeah, I know she You're did. so strong-willed. Boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Ah. Uh, yeah. What held you up? Ah. Well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Haha. <laughs> that makes no sense. You would have heard the bell ring. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played, mi played music as well, Monica. Stroke? Ah, uh, I don't really. I kind of just started recently. Stroke? I've always wanted to learn piano. Stroke? That's so cool. You should play something first, Monica. That's... Bring the piano in here. Monica, Monica looks at me. That's me. Monica looks at me. Monica looks at John. Maybe once I get a little better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. I also look forward to it. Uh, you better not have a boyfriend. Uh, uh, wear something skimpy when you play piano. Is that so? Yes. In that case, I won't let you down, Hiroshima. Thank you. Monica s smiles sweetly. Best girl. Ah, uh, I realize it. I didn't mean any pressure or anything. <laughs> don't worry. I've been practicing a lo whole lot recently, and I really love that chance to share once I'm ready. Uh, I see. Uh, in that case, good luck. Thanks. Tildy. So I didn't miss anything, did I? Yeah, you did. Uh, not really. I chose to leave out Sari's mischief escapade of her and the cookies. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway about the cookies. It looks like everyone has already settled down with their cookies. Sorry, somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book and Natsuki disappeared into the closet with the cookie. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more and see what kind of cookie she got. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading in her cookie. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It's about cookies. More than that, she seems to be the one on the first pages about cookies. What the fuck? Why do I keep doing this? Cookies. Ah. Cookies? Crap. I think she knows me looking at her cookies. <laughs> <laughs> she sneaks another glance at me and our eyes meet for a split second. But that only makes her hide her face and cookies deeper in the book. Sorry. I was just looking at your cookies. I mutter this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. I was focused and I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book that you gave me, right? Hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious. How come you have two copies of the same book? Uh... Jesus, Billy! Your mom lets you have two cookies? <laughs> when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Oh, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I'm pretty sure that she just wants to give me both her book and cookie. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable book. So you did plan on giving it to me. Oh, is that so? Uh, what's it about anyway? Is it about cookies? Well, hmm. Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Cookies. There's an ominous looking eye symbol in the front of it. Oh, is this the Flowers of Evil? I love that. Alright, I just want to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long-lost younger sister. And as soon as she does, her life gets really strange. She is targeted by these people who escaped from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. Who to cookie. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of like a cookie. That's kind of dark and cookie, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story. So that dark turn came out of nowhere. <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Hiroshima? No, I like chocolate cookies. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so, you know, no big deal. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into cookies. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. She's a super freak. It's just those kind of stories. 
We challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. Put a giant cookie on the screen. When horrible things happen, not just because of someone who wants to be evil. I want you to keep the cookie on the screen while she explains this. But because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. Keep that fucking cookie on here. Then suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, there may not to be naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm going to have the hero justice. I'm, I'm rambling, aren't I? Yeah, a little. Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest. Well... I guess it's alright then. Yeah, keep rambling. Well, I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. Jesus Christ, oh, uh, what's that problem? <laughs> when I let things like books and writing from my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. They're all traps, aren't they? So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. I have like a whole two toilet paper rolls in my chest right now. That's, um, I really don't think you need to, um, I like cookies. That just means you're passionate about reading. Uh, the least I can do is listen. I mean, it's Litter Club after all and shit. Ah, that's... well, that's true. Does she stuff her bra? In fact, I might as well get started on reading right now, right? You don't have to! Uh, what are you saying? Uh, just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Uh, let me just get the book already. I clearly retrieved the book and cookie that I put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip in the seat next to Yuri's. Ah, uh, yeah. Are you sure? Uh, you seem to be, you know, freaky the fuck out. That's... Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, um... It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That's it. We're gonna get company with someone. Oh, okay, whatever. Uh, you know, just... Um, you know, tell me if I'm distracting you and your cookie. Alright. I open the book and start to eat this cookie. And then soon I understand what Yuri means about chocolate. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. She's staring at me really hard, and maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eye, and realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. From my peripheral vision, I can tell that it looks like she's reading from my book instead. <laughs> Sorry. I was just... Yuri, you really look like you're a bothersome person, don't you? I do? Yeah, just a little. I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> ah. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah. <laughs> what can you tell me about the Reapers? Um, you know, this should work, right? I pull out an AK-47 and I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's, and I hold my book more between the two of them. Whatever them implies. Ah. Uh. I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Uh, once we each lean in a little bit more, our shoulders are almost touching, and everyone is really fucking jealous, and it feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead, I use my right arm to hold the book open, and I guess, uh, <laughs> this makes, it's kind of difficult right now to turn the page. Um, here. And that's when Jack Black says, That's fucking teamwork! Yuri takes her left arm, and she holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Uh, I do the same with my right arm on the side of the notebook, and that way I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it then flips aside. But it, holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before, and actually it's kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face, and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Oh god, um... Turn the page. Yeah, I don't know. This is weird. It's sexual. I'm sorry. I think I get a little bit distracted, and you know, I glance over Yuri's face again. Our eyes meet, and I don't know. I'll be. I can't keep up with her. Uh, uh that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do, since you've been so patient with me. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of a virgin. I'm sorry. Thanks. We continue reading, and Yuri no longer asks if I'm ready to turn the page, and instead I just assume that she finished the page before me, so I turn into my own volition. Uh, we continue the first chapter in silence, and even so, turning the page almost feels like an intimate exchange, like uh, my thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it float over her side, and then she catches it with her own uh, teamwork, and hey, Yuri! Uh, this might seem silly, but, um, the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Uh, yeah, you think so? Yeah. How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she's also second guesses all the things she says and does, and it's like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything, but they're kind of reminiscent of your mannerisms, and it seems like you're trying to project in real life right now. <laughs> I see. Yeah. 
you remain silent for a moment. But Hiroshima, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Ah, uh, that's so embarrassing that you think that. Uh, you have the wrong idea. I didn't mean it in a bad way. Sorry, I, I didn't know you were self-conscious about that. I guess I'm more meant that it's kind of cute. Eh, what are you saying all of a sudden? I... Okay, everyone. <laughs> I think it's about time we shared these poems with each other. I'm not ready for that. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, Yuri exhales, spared from finishing a thought. Good. Is that all right, Yuri? You look kind of down. You should be. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. No, it's just... Uh, it's not that. You kind of cuffed her. It's fine. He releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Ow. I guess I'll do some reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Um, I, I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little bit more tonight. It'll be more fun to read uh, with you after it picks up a bit, you know? When it gets to the good juice. That's good shit. reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. Oh, shit. That's a lot. I can't even count them two. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book and then slip back into my bag and then remember where I am because I kind of Use forgot. a bookmark, you bitch. Oh, shit. Well, um, yeah. Hi again, Hiroshima. I don't care. How's the writing going? Ah, uh, you know, whatever. I'll take that. That doesn't mean anything. As long as it's not going bad. Well, maybe. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. I should be. Fuck you. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> That's funny. You never know. You never know what. Want to share what you wrote for today? Maybe. Yeah, sure. Here. <laughs> I give him a code Monica. All right. Great job, Hiroshima. I was going to ooh in my head while reading it. Oh, you were ooing? It's really metaphorical. Yeah. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. Uh, it's easy for me to keep no, that's, everyone's that's, expectations low. That's me. That's me. It's easiest for me. Fuck you. Everyone's expectations need to not understand what my point of view is. Um, they can't understand how deep I am. Uh, that way, it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know what? Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. Oh, <laughs> you trying to say she's simple? Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively. Both are allowing people to get something out of it. Whatever, fuck Feel. you. We're letting them deeply analyze all their nuances. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I never really asked, though. Uh, I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry about so much about that. You do your, you do you, boo boo. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Uh, cookie. Save me. The colors. They won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. An endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms. Squeaking, screeching, piercing. Sine, cosine, tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaningless. Load me? Am I reading that right? I think so. What the fuck? What are... What? Save me, load me. Uh, okay. Oh! Uh, do it. Fuck it. Let's see what happens. Save. Save. I'm confused. Empty slot. Okay, load game. Load. Do it. Hmm. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? <laughs> I guess it's just the way I write it. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just kind of weird and fourth wall breaking. It's kind of like playing with my space in the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. It was kind of fucked up. Do you have schizophrenia? It's almost like magic. Yeah, kind of close. The way I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. You want to talk about the noise? 
It's still hard for me to tell you what it's about, though. <laughs> Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling, or a conversation with a reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. <laughs> Sometimes you don't find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never will know when you might change your mind. Or when something unexpected may happen. Uh, what the fuck? Wait, is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. What? Let's see what you've written for today. Here he stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you... No, do, you, do you... You enjoy this? Hiroshima? How did you pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why you did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving in more imagery. She... swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. I'm not used to this. My vision is amazing. Used to what? I don't know. It's fine, take your time. Explain your feelings. Yuri breathes and collects her thoughts. Uh, I know that Yuri doesn't really understand what human emotions are, but to think before she speaks, so I offer her patience. Yeah, just being appreciated like this, I guess. It probably sounds really stupid, but seeing someone else motivated by her writing, it just makes me really happy. Are you saying that you've never shared your writing before? She nods and, um, really? I don't believe it. I really only read for myself, and besides, people would just laugh at me. Uh, do you really think that? Again, Yuri nods. Huh. Even your close friends? Yuri doesn't respond to that. I wonder why. Anyway, you want to share your poem you wrote today? Yeah, I do. If it's with you. Okay, this is getting way too personal. I'm gonna let you read the shit. The raccoon. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as an... Ordinary? As an... Ordinary? What the fuck? Unordinary? Unordinary, okay. Unordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread. My subconscious well aware of the consequences, well aware that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was a symptom. The bread, my hungry curiosity, the raccoon... An urge. The moon increments its phase and reflects that much more light off of my cutting knife. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread, fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. Perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions on the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon is taken to following me. You could say that we're gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always, always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood. Classic Pavlonian conditioning. I slice the bread, and I feed myself again. Um, you, I killed a raccoon, I'm sorry. I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see. It's, um, metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. Actually, That's I have an right. idea. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through to them. Yeah, if I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Am I the raccoon? Are you reading? I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I want to express the way it feels when to indulge in any more unusual hobbies. So sort of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself. So I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Why do you keep them to yourself? Uh, but because they're embarrassing. People would make fun of me on the internet. Do you have anything like that? Well, I mean, yeah. I feel like everyone has a little something like that. The best we can do is respect each other in our individualities. You can miss difficulty sometimes, and some things make us uncomfortable. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. I, I might be ranting a little bit now, but I'm glad that you're a good listener. Okay, cool. 
Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh! I like this one, Hiroshima. It's depressing. It has nice feelings in it. I'm glad I try to put random words into it. Still, though, your tone makes it sound like you like yesterday's poem better. <laughs> I guess you caught me. Sometimes you may be a little too well for my own good. Uh, you don't just try being nice. I mean, if you're gonna, if you're doing a bad job, then at least let me know that you're doing a bad job. No, no. Yeah. I still like this one. I promise. You know, I wouldn't lie to you, Hiroshima. I don't know. Never that. ever. I don't know that. Uh, what made yesterday's poem so great compared to this one, then? Um, well, I'm not very good at figuring out poems are good or bad. That's why I just go by my heart. If it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure. Actually, I know what that means. Then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Yeah, honestly, I, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah, me neither. Good. Why don't you go and sit over there? Oh, you want to write something for me? That's not what I said. That's so sweet. Yeah, whatever. Um, you know, you're thinking about other people and stuff, and I just thought maybe if you went over there, you'd think about me and how I don't want to talk. If you don't, you know, you might end up getting hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. The eh? I just fucking threatened her in the context of that. Well, I don't even know what you mean, but I'll try to keep it in mind. Yeah, you should. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. I guess I like happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems, too. Sometimes a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? Well, the word I'm looking for... Bittersweet. Yeah. I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad, that's you. Oh, I can't... I can't see you liking something sad, sorry. I like happy the most. But sometimes when you have a little rain cloud in your head, a sad poem can help you give the rain cloud a little hug and make a nice happy rainbow. I fucking hate you. Eh, it is? Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. I said nothing about that. Thanks, Hiroshima. I should go write that down then. You can read my poem now, okay? <clears throat> Bottles, I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine, all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe, and I put the bottle on the shelf with all of the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and bottles all in a row. My collection makes me lots of friends. Each bottle is starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper are my memes. Like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. I read that as Moe for a minute. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally, all done. I open up, and in come my friends. In they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf, one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the towel between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. In the shards, all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends. My friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading something. But all I hear is echo, echo, echo inside my head. I can't tell if you're talking about cookies. It's about Literature Club. I'm not sure if you're talking about cookies. It's a happy game. Holy crap. Did you really write this? This is actually good compared to yesterday. Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, but, you know, I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot. I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see. It's almost kind of creepy. Well, not exactly. Uh, maybe because I'm so used to you being cheerful and shit. Never mind. I'm thinking too hard. Point is, it came out good and you should be proud. Aw, oh, thanks. I feel like it. 
I felt like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. Yeah. Pretty passionate about it, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah! Writing's the best! I'm gonna keep writing until I die. It's not too long from now, is it? Sorry, I always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no more than a week later. I wonder if this is one of those times. But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. <coughs> well, there's one left. Hmm. <laughs> well, it's not really any worse than your last one. But I can't really say it's any better either. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, what? Uh, well, anything that isn't a train wreck, I'll take as a win. And I get the feeling you're probably the most critical. Man, what's the fuck that's supposed to mean? Wait a minute, maybe that was a compliment. Uh, anyway, I'm glad that someone recognizes my experience. Well then, keep practicing and maybe you'll be as good as me someday. All you talk about is cheetahs and monkeys and shit. Something tells me that Mitsuki completely missed the point. Come to think of it, the kind of reminds me of Sori's poems from yesterday. Oh, you think so? Yeah, well, I guess you've been friends with her for so long, you might have been on the same wavelength. But, you know, you never really struck me as her type. Sorry has a type all of a sudden? Well, I don't know, but honestly, how could someone so... fluffy spend so much time with someone like you? It's like she's dragging you around a dead weight. Ah, uh, that's a little unnecessary. But think of it this way, if it weren't for me, she would probably just fly away like letting go of a balloon. You know, you could say each of us take care of each other in our own way. Man, whatever it is, I don't get it, you know? Oh, oh um, I'm supposed to show you my poem and shit here. <sighs> Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly ass spiders. And that's why I'm not friends there. Amy has a cute singing voice, and I heard her singing my favorite love song, and every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders, and that's why I'm no, not friends there. And one time I hurt my leg really bad, and Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me, because she likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross, and that's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. What if friends start to like spiders too? And that's why I'm not friends there. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies, or if she keeps it private, or if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross, and she's gross, and the world is better off without spider lovers. Now I'm going to tell everyone. I want you all to think about this poem. But I want you Man, to fuck spiders! But I want you to replace spiders with the N-word, and I'm going to leave it at that. Not bad, right? Um, it's kind of long. Yesterday's was too short, and I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. Uh, not, not likely. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. <laughs> Sometimes you can explain complicated issues by just by yawning, and if it helps people realize how stupid they're being, uh, like anyone would agree to the subject of the poem, ignorant jerk, and you know, pe people like that. Of course, it's about how everyone thinks it's my... You know what, that doesn't matter. It can be about anything. You know, I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid of people find out they make fun of you for or whatever. Like racism. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes? As long as they're not hurting anyone. It's okay if you race as long as you don't tell anybody, right? I like food or porn and people found out. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Uh, that's funny. Uh, Yuri wrote something similar today, too. What? Did you say Yuri? Yeah. Like the porn. I didn't really get it, but she said something similar to you. That people shouldn't make each other feel insecure about those things. Really? Well... 
I mean, yours is pretty weird, so I don't doubt that she has some weird hobbies. Not that there's anything wrong with that about being weird. Um, it's not like I would judge her or anything. Kasuki has trouble finding words being soon to write. Oh, I guess I should try not being so mean to her. You know, she feels insecure about her weird behaviors and stuff. I mean, I always hate people who make me feel insecure. And you made me feel insecure yesterday. But the way, the way you pointed out, it sounds like she learned her lesson. Well, I should say so. Well, I mean, her writing style is really different. I'm sure she'll appreciate the message in your poem. Well, if it's I do the best after all, I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. You know, like conveying emotions is important as shit, but I want to make people think, not just feel. Remember that. Remember, I want people to think by complexity and using really simple shit. I'm going to write a good one for tomorrow, too. Just look forward to it. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so everyone can come to the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Ugh. It's not like we can put together anything good in a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves and shit. That's a concern of mine as well. I only do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're gonna keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Soria has been working on posters and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay. Thank you, Kray. Oh shit, that's great and all. Uh, but that doesn't tell us where we're actually going for the doing the event. Ah, sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? Pee! Oh, Monica. I can't pee. Yeah, we're going to be having a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. The cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. Sorry, he's putting it all on the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. That sounds gay as shit. Yeah. I put cookies in all of them. Sorry, who's been coloring the poster with cookies holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't. You didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Uh, well, I did. Do you think that's the bad of? It's that bad of an idea? Well, no. They're just covered in cookies. But I didn't sign up for this. There's no way I'm going to be forming a group of people like that. I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life do something. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys! Cookies! No, no, Sayori. <laughs> I understand where they're coming from. <coughs> Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poem out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So I'm sorry. Um. But, I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event, you should put on a good performance. Then we'll inspire the others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Cookies. Yeah, cookies. It's about expressing your cookies. Being cookies with yourself. Finding new horizons. And having fun. That's Cookie. And it's those reasons they were all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feeling that brought you here in the first place. I know you do. I know we all do. And if it all it takes is to stand in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Mmm, Cookie. Fuck you. Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Sorry looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members, and the least we can do is help them out a little bit without cookies. Well, maybe, but, you know, mm -hmm. Looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Uh, fuck. I guess we'll just have to get over it. Yay. Hey. Cookie. Cookie. Don't you make her retarded. She's pure. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Cookie. She's not retarded either, she's sorry. Sorry Natsuki or about Cookie or whatever. I don't know, maybe Yuri is. I don't care, she's dejected. Uh, I guess I don't really have a choice. Haha, <laughs> that's Cookie. You're the Cookie, Yuri. This, this club, club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh gosh, oh, you'll gosh. be fine, Yuri. <laughs> oh gosh. Gosh, Sora. But anyway, Gosh, Hiroshima, if you like cookies that much. Let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. Uh, I only have two. Be 
finish, please? Monica, this is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of the strangers? Oh, no. Don't oh, worry. No. I'll start have to help everyone feel a little bit more comfortable. Can I go next? <laughs> of course. Now, let's see. Monica flips through her notebook to the specific poem that she had in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Flew, a hymn. Monica begins reciting her poem. Uh, her clear, confident voice fills the room. Uh, more than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to imply the emotion behind each line that she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply a natural? You glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sorry looks amazed. There is an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. And finally, Monica finished the recitation. Recitation. Precipitate. Precipitate. Precipitation four. <laughs> Monica takes a breath. New Vegas four. That that was so good, Monica. Cookie. <laughs> Thank you very much. Cookie. I was just hoping to get set a good example. Cookie. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? Kike faggot. Uh, I'll go next. Cookie. Wow, Yuri's fired up all of a sudden. If I litter into the, oh, Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quietly over to the po quickly over to the podium. Honestly, either of those would have worked. This poem is called. Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it. Well, it's called After a Minch of a Crimson Eye. Um, Yuri's voice shakens as she starts reading the poem. Just a minute ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she so suddenly putting in so much effort? It's as if it's as if I'm trying to give her the confidence to do something so she can impress me. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Clearing words transform into the, sh the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside of her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her as if she's bewildered and even herself. I... It's up to me to save the situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins me afterwards, and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud her. But we were caught off guard that she must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem in her chest and rushes back to her seat. That was good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri's down for the count. Okay. I guess I'm next then. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sorry, hops out of the chair and we're all sad. This one's called My Meadow! Oh no, god damn it. Cookie! Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. It's a lot harder than I thought. How did the guys do it so cookie? Ah. Try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting to yourself like in front of a mirror. It's your porn, so it'll come best that way. It's your porn. It's your porn. Okay then. Sorry begins her poem. Somehow it feels like your soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sori is. It's serene and bittersweet. <laughs> if I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sori's voice almost gives me a whole new meaning. Maybe this was... Uh, maybe this is what Sori meant when she said that she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through, when in reality, I don't have a voice, so you can only hear me through words. I did it! Cookie, good job. Even Cookie liked it! I didn't say that. I guess that's a good sign. Maybe. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sayori. Don't give her encouragement. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. I don't know. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Yeah. Let's not say what that's trying to imply. I was wondering where my shoes were. They were right here all along. Fuck you. Eh? I don't really understand. Fuck you. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery, blah blah blah, whatever, fuck you. Not they might need a little more force behind them depending on what you- Okay, fuck you! <laughs> I know what you mean! That's well, fuck you, Cookie. It's just embarrassing to Cookie. Heh <laughs> Cookie. Next time, I'm- <laughs> We don't have much time for the festival, you know. Yeah, we have to rush. Okay. Now, who's next? Natsuki? 
Mmm, I don't feel like it. Don't make me go before Hiroshima. It's not like I compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let Hiroshima lower everyone's standards a little, you know? That's key. It's fine, it's fine. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel really awkward. This poem is about the Holocaust, after all. <laughs> I'm not exactly confident in my own writing. It's kind of hard to put any energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really good at this shit. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that'll improve over time, though. Yeah, you know, whatever. It's not like uh, I'm the shit or anything. All right, then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm going. Uh, Natsuki um, begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. This po- Uh, fuck. This poem is called... It's called... Why are you looking at me? Because... Because you're presenting. Mm. Anyway, this poem is called Jump. Are we about to come on and slam and welcome to the jam? Jump on it! When she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's not Suki's trademark style and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if giving life to the poem. As if it jumps, and Natsuki finishes and everyone applauds and that was short, and she hops back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? I don't think so. Easy for you to say. I mean, you better not be, you know, don't make me do that shit. Ah, well, do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? No. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. But when it's just my friends, you know, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it'll be the other way around for me. Well, it's not like that, you know, I kind of have a crush on someone in here. Well, I guess in that case... You won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick up a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Oh, jeez. I should probably find some other poem to recite then. That's fine, too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. I barely done it anything. It makes me really happy. Look at this cute pose. I'm waifu. I'm best girl. Fuck you. Uh, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival's coming up, but let's try to write a poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. All right. I stand up. And there's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sarah and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. If it's for the sake of the club and impressing Monica, well, I guess I'm obvious about it, that's cool, then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayori? Yep! Cookie. Look at you always going home together, you fucking gays. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Don't get any ideas. You know, you know, don't make a big deal out of it. I already have someone inside. Must be a little nice, though. Don't get jealous. Oh, you know. How am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Hiroshima. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's let's get out of here. I'll come with Sari once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sari is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sari. Sorry, I was spacing out. Cookie. Oh, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about that something from earlier. I like how we get to, I mean... Sorry, fumbles with the words. So let's just say that one day, Yuri asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like an asshole. I'd walk home with Yuri. I mean, given how hard it is for her to socialize, I'd feel awful turning him down. Isn't he so beautiful and smart? That has nothing to do with- oh. That has nothing to do with what I said. Ha! <laughs> you admitted it! Oh, Jesus. 
It's not. There's not even any point in speculating something that it's never going to happen. Well, maybe. I just like to think about it. Why? I thought you liked me. It's not long before you won't need any me anymore. You know. Oh. Need you. Sorry. Can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry. Everyone is different. Nobody in the club is a replacement for you. Hmm. If you say so. The conversation trails off, and I'm not feeling awkward. But it was kind of her fault for trapping me. I can't just lie to her. But if there's something that makes her happy, I would hate to take that away from her. That's why I said there's no point in speculating. Then again, the festival only is a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time? Maybe it will completely change my emotions and who I want to go for. I don't know, I'm a complex person, you know, person. Who knows what I'm about? Vanilla. Um, scars. What the fuck? Why? She is suicidal, isn't she? Nick, this is a game about poetry. What the fuck are you talking about? Incongruent. Marshmallow. Ambient. Misfortune. What the fuck? Disoriented. Depression. I don't understand. Sensation. Blanket. Awesome. Hop. Fester. Heartbeat. Wrath. Meager. Anime. <laughs> Uncanny. Universe. Vacation. I wish you would collect all oh, the words man. that you do into a poem. That would be great. I'd, I'd love to read that. I'm the last one here again. Yeah, you are. Don't worry. Oh. Don't worry. Oh. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Haha. <laughs> You must have a lot to determine to be dear, 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 dear. Starting dear, 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 dear. Well, maybe not determination. Dirt, 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 dirt. But I guess passion. Barber, dirt, dirt. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. Cookie. And I was super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival, too. Yo, yeah, I can't wait, too. And, you know, it's going to be great. Wow. Eh? I like that smile. I haven't seen that yet. You know, maybe she bumped herself up on the approval rating. Fuck you, monkeys.